Hello lovely people. Today I'm not gonna only explain to you why voltage drop is bad, but I'm gonna actually show you what's happening when the voltage drops. So I think all of this needs kind of a bit of an explanation. What we have here is just a simple amplifier. It's a two-channel Alpine, very small one. Um, I have it connected to a power supply that is adjustable. So I can adjust the voltage from zero and basically all the way up to 15 and whatever. I'm going to leave it at 14.4 for now just uh, because it's a typical like alternator voltage. So I have probing the power terminal. So this shows me the voltage. Now I have this amplifier connected to a static load bank. That's a four ohm load, static load. And I'm measuring everything with Scarlett on here. So I have a scope view and I'm feeding the signal from the Scarlett into the amplifier. So for example, if I click play, I have a sine wave over there. Now, um, a normal amplifier has uh, what is called an unregulated power supply. That means that probably everybody knows that the more voltage you have on the input, the more power it's going to make. And this is a very quick demonstration to you. I did some power sweeps uh, for this specific amplifier just literally just a few minutes ago. <clears throat> Here we go. So these are three traces. And here is we have the same power sweep. So basically it ramps up the input and it gives you how much power and what's the THD. So for clipping, we're looking at like 1% THD and we have different voltages. So I adjusted the power supply to 15 volts, then I dropped it to 13 and then I dropped it to 11 just to see and just to show you what happens. So the green one is 15 volts and we can see it's this trace. And for this trace, we have the most power, so it's clean uh, 87 watts and 1% 1 is 103 watts. So let's have a look at actually this clean power. So on 15 volts, I have 86. If I drop the voltage 2 volts down to 13, then I'm going to have only 70 watts of clean power. If I drop the voltage even lower to 11 volts, then I will have only 45 watts of power. So basically dropping the voltage from 15 down to 11, 4 volts, I'm going to have half of the power. And probably you can see from this graph already what's going to happen. If I am playing at 13 volts of like my battery is at 13 volts, I'm playing full tilt 70 and the voltage drops down to 11 volts, I'm going to be straight away here. And this is going to be 5% distortion. So basically by dropping the voltage, it starts to clip. Now let's try to actually visualize it because I made this for you to actually see. So I am playing uh, just 100 hertz, because why not? And this is, you can see, typical sine wave, 14.4, everything is fine. What I need to do is I need to increase the gain up to clipping. So let me just try to do it with one hand. This is the gain on the amplifier. It's all the way down, you can see, and I can increase it. So let me sh try to show you. I'm turning the knob. And you can see the sine wave is getting bigger. Yeah? So down... Oh, you cannot see. Up and down, up and down. So look, I'm going to increase it up to clipping. Even more. There we go. And here you can start to see clipping, yeah? So the voltage dropped slightly from 14.4 to 42, which is fine. I'm going to reduce a tiny bit. There we go. Just to have unclipped clean signal. So basically, this is analogous to you setting your gains uh, just below clipping with a scope. Yeah, sorry for the reflection. Now, watch what happens when I'm gonna drop the voltage. So I'm gonna try to show you, watch the voltage and this one. And this is a knob that basically turns down the voltage. So we have, we're going down. Let me just try to, there we go, something like this. 14, 13, 8, 13, 6, drop it even more, 13, 
11. So 11 and a half, we're already clipping. I'm going to increase it a tiny bit. There you go. Yeah, 12.7, 12 point, 12 point, 12.6, you can start it starting, starting to clip. So if your voltage drops from, for in this particular case, uh, from 14.4 uh, to 12 and a half, you already start clipping. And this is what happens when the bass hits, because this is a, a high and mids amplifier, you can say for mids and tweeters. And uh, yeah, if you hit your bass very hard, it draws a lot of current, your voltage drops, and you start clipping all the amplifiers. And what's going to happen if you're going to clip it and clip it and clip it, if the voltage drops even more, lower, you can see, down like 10 volts, you have basically a square wave. And the question is, what's going to happen if, I'm going to stop it now, what's going to happen if you're going to drop the voltage even more? So, look at the light, I'm dropping the voltage, clip, it goes out. So this specific amplifier, it wakes up at about 6.5 volts, something like that. So if the, volt, um, the voltage drops below like 6.5 or something, it just shuts down. And different amplifiers like different voltages, so some amplifiers are going to shut down below 10 volts. So that's the thing. If you have like, like AGM or something and you're floating about 12, 12.8, whatever, and you have like loads of bass and you ramp up the bass full tilt, the voltage drops and your amplifier shuts down or goes into protection. Yeah. So basically, this is a very quick demonstration to you what happens with a voltage drop. So have your wires big, have a steady power supply, lithium, AGM, whatever you want to do. Don't let the voltage drop. And one tip, if you want to prevent clipping from happening, like when we see here, uh, like this, if you want to prevent this with a voltage drop, what I would advise you to do is to set your gains with the lowest voltage where everything drops. So if I set my gains at 12 volts, like, uh, let me take the screwdriver, I'm going to reduce the gains. It's not clipping now, yeah? So it's not clipping at 12 volts, and if I'm going to increase it, it's not going to clip. With a higher voltage, I'm going to have more power, but when the base drops, when the voltage drops, I'm not going to be clipping, and it's going to be safe. So you are losing power because with a higher voltage, you could turn the gains a bit more up, so you are losing power, but you're safe from the voltage drop clip. But the best way to avoid any of this is not to have voltage drop. So if you're a base head, put the alternator, put the lithium and everything else, don't let the voltage drop. Let the base drop, but not the voltage. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next one.